an American newspaper, it's a giant engine of history. It's an astonishing artistic achievement. I learned that the British Library, which had the very last pristine runs of Joseph Pulitzer's New York World, was getting rid of it. They said, look, it's going to be an auction, so the only way you're going to get these papers safe the way you want them to is bid on them. It's so rare in anyone's life that you get an opportunity that something comes to you and you just happen to know that if you take a few steps, if you take a few risks, that you can save it. If you have the last copy, let's say the Shakespeare first folio and there's only one left, what price do you come up with? I had no idea. That's how I got to know about Joseph Pulitzer, who is probably the most thrilling and important and original and creative mind in American media that has ever been. He's the person who thought up so much of what we think of now as news and how news is conveyed. What did the president know and when did he know it? Also, two media centers uh, built. Tonight, Iraq stability at stake. You can hear some clashes, some gunfire. Show me your hands, good, good, good. Politicians who sit in their gilded house and Senate seats. What it means to be an investigative reporter and why it's worth it. Mark Hosenball's National Security.